Hi everyone, it's Jasmine from Magic Tarot Cards. We are going to do um, what's in store for you for money, 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 money for November 2022. This is for all zodiac signs. We're going to go by the elements first. We're going to do water first and then fire. No, we'll do water, earth, fire, and air. Okay, y'all don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, this is a tarot card reading. You do not have permission to copy or use any of my material for your uh, revenue, but you can share it for other people to watch, but you just can't make money off of it. If you want a personal reading, contact me with, contact me with the email down below. Don't forget. Also, I'm doing a Halloween video. If you want to be in it, send me your selfie to my email and I will put you in the video and just give me your first name. You don't have to give me your uh username or your last name just your selfie and your first name and um yeah don't forget to buy my cup i don't have it here with me but the link is down below all you do is click on the link it'll take you to the picture of the cup and then click on the cup and it'll show you the prices and stuff all right also follow me on magic tarot cards on tiktok if you want to watch funny little skits that i do I am in a music video. I appeared in a music video with this um, African singer. Her name is Ebony. The link is down below. Just click on the link and you'll see me dancing in the background. Um, and I'd like for you to follow my brother's page if possible. Um, he's an artist. The, the link will be down below as well. Subscribe to him. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, I'm at Magic Tarot Cards 2022 on Facebook. All right. I'm doing this with my phone standing up and down instead of sideways because I'm in the car and that's the only way I can get it to stand so I can shuffle. I want to shuffle in front of this camera so if I can get in a good position I will do that. Other than that let's get started. We are doing water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What do you see for water signs as far as money is concerned? Sorry y'all. All right, let's get going here. What do you, I'm going to do the best I can, y'all, because I'm in the car. All right. Let me get my card straight here. Show me a water signs, November 2022, as far as money is concerned. What do you see for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as far as money is concerned? Sorry, y'all, I'm just doing the best I can here due to the position I'm in. <laughs> Show me a water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do see the first car I pull. I, I mean, I pull the first car I, card I see. First card that spirit pulls. All right. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What do you see for money as far as money? This one wants to come out. Oh, okay. So, wow. Look at that. So, I am seeing that something unexpected happened to you. Most likely, it was during Mercury retrograde. I am seeing... Um, there was an unexpected moment or an unexpected event. This is a tower, and if you notice in the upright, it shows that something terrible happened. The lightning bolt hit the tower. The people fell down, and then something unexpected happened. But it's in the passing now, so that means that things are getting better. This happened due to Mercury retrograde, I'm seeing, because this is in the past position. I'm seeing that also you could have... Someone could have hurt themselves, maybe a work injury, someone hurt their foot maybe. This is the card of poverty. So whenever this unexpected event happened, it caused you to be in a little bit of poverty. It could have been an illness, loss of a job, loss of a house, loss of an income, loss of a friend. Anything that was a loss that caused you to lose money or something to that effect. All right, so are you coming back up? Show me Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is going to happen? Okay, yeah, see, look at that. I see you packing your bags. You're going to go on a new journey because good things are coming in no in November. I see you um, starting something new. But be careful because you see this fool, he's about to fall off the cliff because he's not paying attention to detail. What is the detail here? The detail is he's at the end of the cliff and he's looking up instead of down. So he's about to fall off. The dog here is barking saying, look, look pay attention but he's not he's in his mind because he knows that this adventure is going to bring him a brand new day okay well the thing is see he's wearing blue that represents deep thought he's in deep thought the thing the message here is pay attention 
to every little detail of every new adventure that comes in before you go for it, okay? Before you move with it, pay attention to every detail so you won't fall off the cliff like this um, fool is about to do, okay? So that's for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you are, if something did happen due to the Mercury retrograde we had and it put you in poverty or a sickness or something like that, you're going to be coming out of it in November and a new adventure is going to start for you. Just, just pay attention to detail, okay? <clears throat> Um, next we have the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. As far as money's concerned, look at that. It jumped out right away. Okay. What do you see for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. First card I see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm in an awkward position here, y'all, but I'm doing the best I can. A lot of people say, oh, you never shuffle, blah, blah, blah. It's because I have to hold the camera. Since I'm doing these in my car, I have to hold the camera with one hand. All right. So here we are. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Looks like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for someone to help you. I see the love rushed in for you. Here we have the Eight of Wands. This is Wands are love and emotion. Here we have someone that rushed in. It could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that rushed in waiting to um, for your answer. They wanted to date you you live with them marry them this is really fast energy that came in but i'm seeing that you were like no i'm not gonna have it here we have we had two people that come in we had aries leo sagittarius and a pisces cancer scorpio but that's you sitting under the tree saying no i don't want it see how the hand of the universe is coming out saying here take this cup but you said no and then you have other offers here and you said no as well you're mad about something so you might have been mad at someone that offered you some type of love and you know maybe it didn't work out or maybe you're just not ready for it or something to that effect but i am showing that you do need to accept something you know you don't have to rush into it because rushing into it only leads to disaster all right so i'm seeing that you're going to have two either two opportunities coming in and uh, you're, you're still saying no for some reason you're still saying no i am seeing the the pentacles six of pentacles in the reverse so a third party that was supposed to give you money is going to be delayed a little bit. They're going to be um, in stagnation in November. Um, this is the Six of Pentacles. You see how the man, this is the third party. He's giving the two beggars money here. And the scales are balanced, meaning there's enough money to go around for everyone. But it's in the reverse. So this represents uh, either slow, money mo slow moving money or... Uh, stagnation and whatever money that you're waiting on it could be a job or it could be from this person that offer you something but maybe they don't have enough money to help you out or aren't offering you anything to that effect so yeah that's what I see coming in but rest assured these are court cards they do flip back around so you just got to keep concentrating keep manifesting keep praying so these this card can flip back up and that money can come in all right that was for earth signs Taurus Virgo and Capricorn Next, we're going to have fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Sorry, y'all, this is awkward, but I am in my car, and I'm doing the best I can. I don't have a stand. I just kind of stood my phone up so y'all can see me shuffle. Because <laughs> someone says, I haven't seen you shuffle in a long time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's because I'm in my car. Okay, so fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, look at all those cars that fell. One more time. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do you see as far as money is concerned? Money, money, money. Show me. Oh, my goodness. Show me money, money, money. Let me get in a better position here. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me money. What do you see is for money for November 2022? This one wants to come out. Show me money. Oh, that one just popped out. Did y'all see that? That one just flew out of my hand. Show me money. One more card. There we go. Okay. This one goes first. So now, okay, this is the five of swords. This is a little bit of negative energy. This is someone that is very aggressive. So remember, swords are never good. So this is someone that's very aggressive. They um, tend to uh, talk you into things or talk other people into things. You see how he's smirking because he stole these swords from his opponents and he was so aggressive that these opponents threw their swords down and walked away deep thought about this very very much deep thought but this this person is very cunning very cunning 
uh, conniving. They use their power of aggression to get their way. Okay, so that's what they're doing here. So I am seeing someone in your life that's acting this way, that's doing this. They're very, their words are very powerful and very, very persuasive, and they use that aggression to get you to do things their way. So you need to, uh, yeah, you need to back up away from that. All right, or get out of that situation. It could be a boss or an ex friend or somebody like that. Anyone that you know that's aggressive. This is the Four of Wands. I am seeing an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which is you, coming in, or you. Some of you could be getting married. This is the marriage card. You see how the happy people are standing underneath this reef, and then um, there's people in the background eating, the beautiful home in the background. This is also a baby card, so I am seeing a baby being born uh, or being conceived in November. Or some of you are going to be talking about that, reporting it, or announcing it. From Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, or maybe you will be pregnant from that. Now we have the Queen of Swords, okay? But she's in the reverse. The Queen of Swords is someone that is a woman that cuts, okay? There's a bird in the background representing messages coming in. There's a lot of blue here, deep thought. This is a, a person that has authority. So you might be dealing with an authority figure that um, just wants to cut, but it's in the reverse. So that means this person is not very happy right now. They're argumentative. They're not going along with what you want. Could be, a, again, a female boss or something like that. They might not be giving you that raise. Um, this is reading is about money, but I'm not seeing a money card here. But I am seeing this female woman that's in an upper higher position. So she might be telling you no on the raise that you want, the bonus that you want, or maybe you're trying to work something out at work with your paycheck or something to that effect but the answer is no at this moment because she's upset about something so the best thing to do is to get on her good side in order to flip this card back around i don't know if you had words with this person or something like that but you got to get this card to flip back around for this woman to agree for the raise that you're waiting for or maybe the bank is delaying you or something to that effect but this card will flip back around again it's a court card all court, court cards flip. So be cooperative. If you want that raise, if you want that bonus, be cooperative, okay? The next one will be uh, air signs. And that's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do you see for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? November 2022. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. November 2022. Give me the first card. There we go. Fell in the reverse. Give me the first card for air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Ooh first card I see and I'm going to take that one okay all right so here we have the six of swords in the reverse I am seeing someone that's wanting to leave leave a situation but again that's in stagnation and the upright the six of swords is someone that leaves you see how they are in this boat they're hanging their head because they're in depression and the water here is wavy it's not smooth it's turbulence so i'm seeing a turbulent situation here there's swords that surround this person swords are never good this could mean imprisonment or or some type of um a jail time or some type of mental imprisonment okay so when you see this that means you're mentally imprisoned with whatever situation you have but it's in the reverse so that means um you're breaking free from this. It's passing. Okay. It's in the passing. It's moving. It's going away. So maybe you already got to this other side here where it's smooth. And now the situation is passing in November. Again, here we have the money card, the six of pentacles. A third party is coming in to help you, give you money, or maybe it's a bank or, or you know, whoever you're waiting money from, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you see the scales are balanced here. So, and there's little coins falling from his hand. So this money is coming in. Maybe that's why your situation is getting better here because you moved away from whatever that situation was and then this money came in, so it's helping you out. Now here we have the end of a karmic cycle, the Ten of Swords. Do not be afraid because this does not mean death for you because this is also a death card. But it does not mean death for you, but it does mean the end of karmic cycle. So in November, your karmic cycle is coming to a close, meaning the poverty that you were in or the bad relationship you were in, or whatever was negative has come to a close. That's the end of it. So that means life is about to change in a whole new direction for you. Okay, this is the end of a karmic cycle. That means it's done. The cycle of whatever bad luck you were having, the cycle of your life the way it was, 
is over because that's what this card means the way of life you were living is done okay why is it done because this person here came in because you left the situation this person here came in a third party to help you and it ended the bad cycle you were having and now a new cycle is about to begin all right that was for air signs gemini libra and aquarius november 2022 so it looks like you're about to have good luck air signs gemini libra and aquarius in november all right y'all this is it for now thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to everything watch the music video i'm in the link is down below uh email me your selfies for your for the halloween video if you want to be in it uh email me for a personal reading and i will get back at you all right give me some time because y'all know i do work a full-time job and i have very, my time is very limited all right and yeah i'll see you next time thanks for watching Bye bye